American golfer Robert Tyre Bobby Jones Jr. was born on the 17th of March, 1902 in Atlanta, Georgia, and is generally accepted as one of the best golfers of all time. However, unusually, Bobby was never a professional because he considered golf a pleasure and not a job. So he was also a lawyer. His biggest golf triumphs were between 1923 and 1930, winning 13 of 21 U.S. national championships in which he competed. Jones won three British Opens, four times the USA Open, five times the USA Amateur Championship, and once the British Amateur Championship. In 1974, he was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame, and in 97, he was inducted into the Georgia Tech Engineering Hall of Fame. He passed away in 1971. How much was the net worth of Bobby Jones? It has been reported by Celebrity.Money that at the time of his death, the wealth of the amateur sportsman was estimated at $5 million, earned mostly from his career as a lawyer during his working life, which spanned 1925 to 1965. Initially, his ability manifested itself in early childhood when playing golf was prescribed to help strengthen him after several health issues. He never received golf lessons, but at the age of six years old, he won his first tournament at the East Lake Country Club, winning several moral titles. Jones then became the youngest player in the USA Amateur Championship, being only 14 years old, and reaching the last eight in the match play format that it was then. Jones was a perfectionist with his game and subjected himself to great psychological pressure. So, during tournaments, he often lost several kilos of weight. He also used to lose his temper easily, and it was normal to see him furiously throwing clubs during tournaments. Jones was once suspended because of this behavior. Brief as his career was, essentially just 15 years at the top level before retiring at the age of 28, Bobby Jones won 13 majors of the 31 in which he competed finishing outside the top 10 only four times, and winning the then Grand Slam of U.S. and British Opens and amateur titles in 1930, backing himself to achieve the feat with bookmakers before the first one, and ultimately winning $60,000. After retiring from golf, Jones practiced his profession as a lawyer, wrote books, and also taught golf. Bobby pioneered in golf instructional films commissioned by Warner Brothers. He also advised the company Spalding in making golf clubs. After rejecting 200 different models, finally he gave his approval to a set of clubs that suited him, distinguished by having a steel shaft. Another innovation was that each club was designated with a number instead of the old Scottish names, an innovation that became standard. Jones was co-opted into advising on golf course design to and co-design the national course at Augusta with Alistair McKenzie, the future home of the Masters Tournament. Moreover, Jones served as a captain in the U.S. Army during World War II and took part in the Normandy landings in 1944. In 1948, he was diagnosed with a rare disease of the central nervous system, when the cavity of the spine is filled with fluid, causing pain and then paralysis. The disease did not allow him to play golf again, as he suffered severe pain in his back and neck. At first, he used a cane to walk, but then had to rely on crutches, and finally, he was confined to a wheelchair. Finally, in the personal life of the amateur golfer, he was married to Mary Rice Malone from 1924 until his death. They had three children. He died on the 18th of December, 1971 in Atlanta, Georgia in the United States.